welcome to the second video for the the Verilog using HTML bits website. Um, so hopefully you've gone through the first video. If you haven't, then you might want to do that. Um, and so this this video, well, because you have to, because uh, basically all of the information background to solve the problems I'm going to present in this video uh, is in the first video. So if you haven't watched that, then please go and do that. Uh, so basically, then, so you've already hopefully done the getting started problem, um, and then which is this one? You've already done that. So then the next ones to do is we've got this one output zero. So this is very similar to the previous one, except that this time you're going to have to write the assigned statement yourself. Uh, and then if we look in Verilog language in basics, we've got simple wire. Um, so you have to like connect this wire like between the input and the output. We covered that in the first lesson, but you haven't practiced it yet. So now you're going to practice it. So you might need to review that quickly, just go through the previous lesson perhaps as revision. And also four wires uh, also covered in the first lesson. Uh, and so you're simply going to practice it here. Uh, so you have to connect these inputs and these outputs um, according to this diagram. Uh, all right, so now is going to be the pause time where you're going to pause the video, attempt these problems, and then once you've attempted them, then you can unpause it and we'll go through the solutions together. So let me show the, the pause slide. Okay, pause slide, so I'll see you after the pause. Uh, all right, so hopefully you paused the video, attempted the problems, and have uh, gone through those. And now we'll go through those together. So let's start with the output zero. So output zero, uh, we have to set this output port to zero. So we're simply going to go assign uh, zero equals zero. Or if you want to be more fancy, we can do it the the kind of fancy way, which is okay. We're going to have uh, one bit. And then we have the quotation, and then it's going to be the next value is going to be binary, and the binary value is zero. So we could do either of these. So let's try this first way first. So let's do submit. Uh, there we go, data success. Uh, we'll do the other way. So one binary zero, submit. Yeah, yeah, okay, so there we've got the success. We've also got these little diagrams down here. So the yours is this is what our code is outputting, the ref, this is what it should be outputting, and the mismatch is zero if they are both matching to, equal to each other, or else it's one. You can't really see what zero or one is here because the, all of them are zero, uh, but in future problems, these will have different values, and so they'll have like a sort of little drop and down. We'll see that in a bit. All right, is there a show solution that is? Yeah, so this one, right? So one uh, one bit uh, binary and the value is zero. All right, great. Any questions, concerns, please put them in the comments below. Right, next one, very log language, basics, simple wire. So here we have to connect one wire from this input port called in to this output port called out. And remember it's directional. So we're gonna to have to do a sign and then the, the the thing on the left in the assign is the thing that is receiving the signal and the thing on the right is the thing that's giving the signal. So here the in is giving the signal that's going to be on the right and the out is receiving the signal that's going to be on the left. So here's our module. Uh, we, we want to connect the input to the output so we say assign out equal in. All right and well, well let's do the submit just to check that that's correct. Okay, so success. Uh, all right, so just a reminder, this does not mean when you execute this statement, copy the value from in to out. This is a continuous assignment. When this statement exists, the, the value of in is continuously assigned to out. So if the value of in changes, the value of out will change. Okay, this isn't obvious here, it will, be, it will become important later. Let's look at the show solution. Okay, so yeah, and it points out that the wires are directional, as we were saying. All right, okay, I hope you got those. All right, let's do the four wires. 
Oh, of course, any questions, concerns, put them in the comments. Uh, okay, here we've got four wires. So we've got A to W, B to X, B to Y. So the same source can connect to multiple sinks, but you cannot connect multiple sources to the same sink. That wouldn't make sense because which value would the sink choose? It would have to choose between two. In reality, it would be a short circuit and you would get a fire uh, or your chip would burn out. But you can connect one source to multiple sinks as we have here. We've got X and Y both take the value of B. All right, so let's try this. So we've got a sign. So the output W comes from A. So a sign W got A. The output X comes from probably from B. Yes, X comes from B, so sign X equal B. And the output Y comes from, uh, also from B, right? And the output Z probably comes from C. Yeah, Z comes from C. All right, and then let's just run that. I don't know, I'm not sure. Uh, all right, so success. And here we've got some more interesting things than some of the previous things. So the A, B, and C are all varying. So basically they can take one or two values. When it's at the bottom, it's a zero. When it's at the top, it's a one. And it, so the A shifts between, starts off one, then it's zero, then it's one, then it's zero, then it's one. And the B is also changing and the C is also changing. And then we've got yours. So this is our output, W, X, Y, and Z. And this is what they should be. Because uh, they all match, so mismatch is always zero. If any of them mismatch, then some will be one. So basically, because we're connecting A to W, so W exactly matches A, and we're connecting both X and Y to B, so both X and Y exactly match B, and we're connecting Z to C, so Z exactly matches C. So there we go. All right, so that's that. That's it for this video. It's a short one. Um, and then next time we will go through, in the next video, we will look at some of these gates. So hopefully see you then. Any comments, concerns, comments, and please, if you like this, then click the like and add comments if you like it so that I feel happy and make more. Cool. All right. See you in the next video, hopefully.